Hey, what's going on, people? Hope you guys are doing good. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a camera. Chances are, whenever you think of Insta360, you think of cameras like this, or this, and this. What you don't think about are webcams like these. Well, today, that changes. This is the Insta360 Link. It's the most unique webcam I have ever had a chance to test, and while I had my initial doubts, it's completely taken me back. Inside the box, you get a little chart with some key features, the Insta360 Link itself, a quick start guide and warranty paperwork, markers for the whiteboard mode, a couple Insta360 stickers, USB-C to USB-C cable, USB-C to USB-A adapter, and a microfiber cleaning cloth. Taking a closer look at the link, you can see that it features a built-in three-axis gimbal, which sets it apart from any other webcam on the market. This allows it to do several cool things and opens up the door for even more potential features down the road. I'm really excited about it. The camera itself is also really unique. Packing a bright aperture of f1.8 and a large half-inch sensor, it provides excellent image quality with great autofocusing capabilities, as you'll see later in the video. Right below the camera on the front, there are two directional microphones, which do an excellent job at picking up audio and voices, while also minimizing and removing unwanted background noise. On the back side, there is a single USB-C port for power and data transfer. On the very bottom, you'll find a quarter 20 thread for mounting. However, if you would like to use it like a more traditional webcam, the entire bottom opens up to a clam-like design. Setting up the link is easy. Start by downloading the Insta360 Link software, which can be found at the link in the description of this video. Once downloaded, plug in the Link camera. It should be recognized right away within the app. The first thing you'll need to do is navigate to the more settings within the app, scroll all the way down to the bottom and make sure that there are no available firmware updates. The app offers tons of features, including full control of the gimbal and the camera. This means you can manually pan, tilt, and digitally zoom within the gimbal control tab. You can even set up preset keyframes for instantly switching views, which is perfect for presentations and live streams. In the future, you'll be able to adjust the field of view and zoom by simply dragging your mouse in the preview window. This is something that Insta360 told me about and I can't wait for it to arrive. Under the image settings tab, there are controls for exposure, white balance, brightness, contrast, saturation, and sharpness. Finally, under the more settings tab, we have various controls and options. The first of which are toggles for the gesture controls, which consist of auto tracking, zoom, and the whiteboard mode. Here's a quick demo on how these gestures work. So if I hold up a hand like this, it's going to trigger tracking. So now the gimbal will start tracking me and I can walk around freely and do what I need to do. Or if I'm doing a presentation, I can do something like that. I can stop tracking by doing the same gesture and it will stop tracking. Now I can move around and the gimbal's not gonna focus on me. I can also zoom in by making an L and then slowly moving my hand up until I find that sweet spot and then I'll start zooming in. And then I can come down until I find a sweet spot and then it will start zooming out. Another really cool feature is the whiteboard feature. So if I had a whiteboard, I could hold up a V and then it's going to ask me to use the included stickers to mark on the whiteboard. And then it will focus on the whiteboard in terms of giving a presentation or something like that. I don't really have a whiteboard, but um, yeah, I'm gonna throw up like a little sample video that they sent me. Below that, we have AI zoom. This allows the camera to focus on three different parts of your body as you move around the frame. Under that, we have options for anti-flicker, tracking, speed adjustment, and camera focus settings. Streamer mode allows you to use the link in 9x16 portrait video when using streaming software. So here's a quick example using streamer mode and I'm recording in a portrait or vertical video. This is perfect for live streaming on like TikTok or Instagram, which you can do from your computer uh, using their desktop websites. So let me know what you think of this. I think the quality is actually pretty good. There's an HDR toggle for high dynamic range video. However, this does not work when in 4K 60 frames per second. Lastly, there's a mirror image toggle. The app has a built-in recorder function, which is really nice. There are also various view modes to choose from inside of the app. For instance, you can manually toggle on tracking or whiteboard mode. 
Even better, you can put the camera into desktop mode, which is great for instructional style videos or if you just wanna show something in your hand. The other view mode is top down or overhead mode, which is my personal favorite. Whenever you have the link mounted on an arm like you see here or a tripod, you can put it into overhead mode, which is fantastic for live streaming, recording instructional videos, unboxings, cooking tutorials, reading books with the fam, and much, much more. I absolutely love it. Insta360 did inform me that more features are on the way, so I can't wait to see what's to come. When it comes to usability, I love the link. It has a wide range of mounting options as I previously covered, but all of that to the side, it's a tiny little webcam that can sit right on your desk under your monitor without taking up any space. This is perfect for me because it allows me to use my light bar without having to take it off and put a webcam up there. To give you an idea of just how small the link is, this is what it looks like next to the Anchor B600 video bar, which looks massive compared to the link. Not only is it wider and thicker, but look how long it is. Here's another example to a more common or traditional webcam option. This is the Logitech Pro XDR 4K webcam, and while much more compact than the B600, it's still larger than the Insta360 Link. Best of all, because of its size, it's ultra portable. So tossing it into your tech bag for travel is simple and easy. It also has a built-in privacy mode, which angles the camera straight down whenever you're not using it or when you exit out the Insta360 Link app. Another really cool thing about the Insta360 Link is if you pair multiple links together inside of OBS and then live stream, because it's on a gimbal, you can set up different perspectives and then you can create presets inside the Insta360 Link app to dynamically switch views while you're live streaming. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so if you're wondering about image and microphone quality, here's an example plus a comparison to a couple popular webcam options on the market. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So here's a quick example using the Insta360 Link camera. And you can see the quality is actually quite good for a webcam. And this does have a half inch sensor, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's a very wide or very big sensor for a webcam. Now if I move over here, you can see the tracking works really, really good. If I come back over here, it works good. And I can even go inside the software and position it to where it will zoom in specifically on my face. In comparison, this is the Anchorwork B600 video bar. I really like this webcam because it offers multiple features. So it's a light bar, it's a set of speakers, it's a webcam, plus much, much more. Inside the software, you have a plethora of features, including solo frame. So I've enabled solo frame, and if I walk around, you can see it is tracking me, but look at the crap on the sensor. Of course, this is really gonna take a toll on the quality of the footage. Unlike the Insta360, which actually uses a gimbal combined with digital cropping, if I just walk side to side, the Insta360 isn't going to uh, have any loss of quality. Now, if I back up, it's going to zoom in if I wanted to do so. The other camera that I wanted to compare the Insta360 Link to was this Logitech Pro XDR camera. So it magnetically clips onto the top of the monitor. It's a 4K webcam as well. And I gotta say the quality is comparable to the Insta360, but you don't get a lot of the cool features like the overhead mode or desktop mode that you do on the Insta360. You can angle it so I can reach up here and then angle it down so I can kind of manually go into like a desktop mode. I can tilt it back up. I can tilt it to the left and tilt it to the right. So I do get some movements when it comes to the webcam. Um, and I have no idea how the audio is going to sound because I'm pretty sure I cover up the microphone with my thumb. I'm a bit of an idiot. The Insta360 Link is the most unique webcam I have ever used. It fills a void in the webcam space that I had no idea was missing. It's incredibly easy to use, packs great image and audio quality, and it's extremely versatile. It's perfect for business folk, content creators, streamers, or even the average consumer that tends to chat a lot via Skype or Zoom. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I had really low expectations when Insta360 reached out to me about a webcam, but after using it, I'm blown away, and I think you will be too. If you're interested, click the link in the description for up-to-date pricing as well as some more info to see if it's right for you. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the Insta360 link. Subscribe and stay tuned for more awesome videos just like this as I am working closer with Insta360 and have a bunch more content coming. Outside of that, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.